With that, I'm going to turn this over to District Attorney Robert Carney from the Schenectady County DA's office for a few words. Thank you, Rob. <clears throat> I would uh, just like to start by saying that this was uh, truly a horrific scene. And I want to thank the first responders that came to this scene to try to provide aid and assistance to the injured and the dead. Um, you know, we send police officers and first responders into dangerous situations. We also send them into very trying emotional situations. And this is, as you can imagine, that kind of a scene. Um, I can tell you that as we are conducting this press conference, members of the state police are briefing my staff about the case so, uh, back at my office, so we don't have a lot of details. But I can tell you that, um, that Nelson Patino, having been charged, as the major indicated, with two counts of murder and one count of attempted murder and some weapons charges, uh, will be arraigned tonight in Dwaynesburg Town Court at 6 p.m. before Judge Patrick Wren. My office will be present. Uh, Assistant District Attorneys John Carson and Dan Lennon will be there. And uh, the case will go forward from there. We believe that we will posture this case to be ready to present to a grand jury as early as next week. And obviously, if and when a grand jury acts, we'll have more information we can share with you. With that, I'll turn it back to the captain. Thank you, sir. At this time, we'll open up to questions. Captain, you said specifically wife of 37 years. Does that mean, was that her age? That was oh, her age. Okay. Yeah. She was 37 years old. Is there going to be any um, after trauma treatment for the first responders classes or anything like that that they'll be able to attend? So we have contacted, we have our employees assistance program. Those notifications have been made and they're reaching out for those services as well. Because as you're right, I mean, uh, wellness for first responders and, and not to forget the, the family. We, that's why we also called in our crime victim specialist is to uh, afford them some services as well to the family that was affected. Will the names of the victims be released at any point in time? There will be at, at some point in time. Uh, we were facing one of the issues um, with some language barriers, but also notification of next of kin has, has been a little bit of a challenge for us, and we have not done that yet. Was there anybody else inside the house besides the family at the time? The we end? do not believe so at this time. Was the call from Mr. Patino the first and only call that came in before a response happened? That is correct. No previous criminal history of any kind? No, not that we've seen. You mentioned there's a language barrier. I understand the family is from Columbia, is that correct? That we're trying to ascertain to be sure. Is there anything else you can provide about the, the child who's currently still um, at the hospital? What's going to happen? Um, social workers coming into play here? All I know is that the, the resources that typically are involved in these cases are put in play. Um, but I can't ascertain what's going to be happening going forward. Obviously, it's going to be very challenging uh, for, for both outside to that family um, going forward, but I can't really surmise at this point. I, I could just add to that by saying <coughs> that, the, uh, that the Schenectady County uh, uh, um, CPS uh, Child Protective Case uh, Unit is working in a separate investigation to determine uh, what's in the best interest of the child. So as police are doing uh, their criminal investigation, the, uh, that investigation also uh, goes on a separate track. Well, that's up to the investigators, and they, and they reach out to the family, and I, and I believe uh, most of those contacts have already been made. Um, I, it, during these things, it's, it's very difficult uh, to get information out quickly because we want to be accurate, um, especially for something of this magnitude. Last question. The public school, kids with children involved, is, is there the school districts involved that the people are working with to help ease things for people? I believe that those contacts have been made. Um, that notifications to the schools to assist any of the children that may have been classmates, uh, especially of the five-year-old, uh, the two-year-old, I don't believe was involved in any of those kinds of things. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time, folks.
time.